Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have a new cake recipe for you guys and I want to show you how to make a classic hummingbird cake. Now, this delicious cake is really popular in the southern United States and it's a pineapple banana pecan cake with a little bit of cinnamon added in there and it's all frosted with a creamy cream cheese frosting. You guys are going to love everything about this cake. It's really moist and tender and then dotted with crunchy bits of pecans and that frosting is the perfect complement. Now today I'm going to be using my cream cheese frosting which I have a separate video for. I'm going to include that link down in the video description box below, so make sure to check that out as well. Meanwhile, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this incredible cake. I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I've lined three 8 inch cake pans with some parchment paper. I'm also going to spray down the sides of the baking spray. You can use this recipe with two 9 inch cake pans as well. I'm going to set these aside for now and we'll get started on the cake batter. Into a large mixing bowl, I'm going to pour in one cup of buttermilk. This is going to make the cake really moist and tender. One cup of cooking oil, and today I'm using canola oil. And we'll need four large eggs for this recipe, and I've brought the eggs up to room temperature. I'll add the eggs into my mixer bowl along with two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one cup of white granulated sugar. And I'll use my hand mixer today. You can also use a stand mixer and then just mix all these ingredients together for a couple minutes until I have a smooth mixture. And now for my dry ingredients, I have two and one third cups of all purpose flour. To that I'm going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'll use a spoon and just mix this all together. And that little bit of cinnamon adds so much great flavor to the cake. You guys are going to love it. Next, I'm going to sift the dry ingredients into the cake batter. And I always do this just so I don't end up with any clumps of flour or baking powder. And then I'll use my hand mixer to mix the flour into the cake batter just until it's well incorporated. You don't want to over mix at this stage. And now I'm ready to add my cake filling. So we're going to be adding some pecans, some crushed pineapple, and some mashed bananas. First up we have the pecans. I have one cup of diced pecans. I'm going to sprinkle those in. These are going to be so fantastic with this cake batter. I have one cup of mashed bananas. I used about two medium sized bananas today. And an eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. I drained out most of the pineapple juice. Drop that in. Pineapple's going to make the cake so moist and delicious. And I'll use my spatula to fold in all these fillings, the pineapple, the banana, the pecans. This cake batter smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. And I'm going to use a large spoon to divide my cake batter evenly between my three prepared pans. And I also like to use a kitchen scale to weigh out my cake pans just to make sure that I have the same amount of batter in each pan. And my cake layers are ready to go into the oven. They're going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 24 to 26 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Once these are done baking, I'm going to let them cool in the pans for just a little bit, about five minutes, and then I'll transfer them onto a wire rack to cool completely. While these cake layers are cooling and baking, this is the perfect time to make a batch of my cream cheese frosting. Just head on down the video description box for the recipe and the video link. And I made a batch of my cream cheese frosting last night and then let it chill in the refrigerator overnight and warm up at room temperature for one hour so that it's nice and soft and easy to spread. And now I'm ready to assemble the cake. My hummingbird cake layers have cooled completely and I actually like to finish chilling them in the refrigerator just to make sure that they're extra well chilled and there's no possibility that they're going to melt my frosting. The first thing I'm going to do is grab a knife. Now these cake layers turned out pretty level to begin with, but I'm going to let level them off just a little bit more so the cake is really nice and even when I assemble it. Now 
To assemble the cake, I'm going to apply a generous amount of my cream cheese frosting in between each cake layer. I'm going to use an offset spatula to spread this frosting evenly to the edges. And now I'm ready to apply my crumb coat layer of frosting. So this is going to be a thin layer of the cream cheese frosting on the outside of the cake. It's going to seal all the crumbs in on the inside. Once the cake is frosted, I'm going to place it into the refrigerator, let it chill in there for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll come back to add that final layer of frosting on the outside. And while I'm frost, um, not while I'm frosting, while the cake is chilling, I'm going to place my frosting into the refrigerator so it doesn't get too warm. And I wanna give the cake a decorative edge, so I'm going to use this comb cake scraper and go around the edges, create a little design. I also wanna add some diced pecans onto the sides of the cake. Just kinda of gently tap those into place. And to garnish the cake, I bought a few boxes of edible flowers, and these are usually sold right next to fresh herbs. Uh, Whole Foods typically carries them. I'm just gonna pick out a few really beautiful ones, so we're going to add those to the top. And if you are going to add flowers, you wanna make sure that they are edible. I get lots of requests to show you guys how I transfer my cakes from the turntable onto a cake stand. So today I'm going to be using uh, two spatulas, actually a spatula and a long knife. And I'm going to slide the spatula underneath the cake and kind of go all the way around the edges just to make sure that the cake isn't stuck to the turntable anywhere. Make sure it's nice and loose. And I'm going to slide the knife or another spatula on the other side. And we want to do this quickly, so you want to just lift and transfer the cake. This cake is so pretty. I don't even want to cut into it, but I will because I do want to give it a try. I'm going to grab a sharp knife. Let's cut into it to see what it looks like on the inside. Now I haven't had time to let this cake chill in the refrigerator, but when you're making it at home, let it chill in there for a couple hours just so that frosting can set up nicely. Let's take a look on the inside. Isn't that stunning? That's such a gorgeous cake. I am loving the cake layers. They're really soft and tender and that cream cheese frosting looks so delicious. And that's it for my hummingbird cake recipe. Isn't this cake stunning? I am loving these edible flowers on the top. And then we have the diced pecans on the side. This looks so special. And it's gonna be perfect for any special occasion or holiday. For the full recipe, make sure to head on down the video description box. You're going to find a link there that'll take you over to my website so you can print this recipe off 
and you can find it with metric measurements. Time to dig in and enjoy. This looks so fantastic. The cake itself is just so moist and tender. Mmm. Mm. This cake is so delicious. My only regret is that I haven't been making this cake for many, many years. It tastes so good. I'm loving that cream cheese frosting as well. Mmm. This cake is absolutely amazing. You guys are going to love it from the very first bite. The texture is so incredible. If you love banana cake or if you love my pineapple carrot cake, this cake is really similar in that it has the crushed pineapple and you have bits of the banana, the crunchy pecans, and it has just the lightest hint of cinnamon, just the perfect amount, and it's so well complemented with that cream cheese frosting. This is just phenomenal. If you have a special occasion coming up, this is the cake you need to make. Everybody is going to be asking you for the recipe. It's so, so delicious. Don't forget to head on down to the video description box for the recipe link. I hope you guys enjoy this cake for any special occasion or holiday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.